Hi children. Uh, in this video, this is my second video. In this video, we'll discuss about the definition of management. Before going to this definition of management, uh, we should. What is the input of management means? Uh, it is an ongoing process. Input of an organization is human resource and economic resource. Input of organization is human and economic. That means financial of business. So after the giving the input, what is the processing means? The processing is nothing but how the how the management will process means through the managerial functions. That managerial functions we can say that planning, organizing, directing, and controlling. These are the processing of management. What is the purpose of this process means to achieve the objectives. That is nothing but it is an output of management. What is the output of management means? That is nothing but customer satisfaction. We can say the customer satisfaction and goods and services to the customer. That is the output. So again, I'm just repeating. It is an ongoing process. Management is an ongoing process. Uh, input of an organization is human resource and as well as the economic resource. How it will process means input next stage is process. How it will process means through the managerial functions like planning, organizing, directing and controlling. Um, for the what purpose means for, for the purpose of achieving the major objective of a management. Input is over, processing is over. The next is output. Output is nothing but it is the goods and services desired by its customer. Okay. So here the two experts has defined what is management. One is Henry Foyle and another one is Peter F. Drucker. Both also has been entered into the field of management and they have said about and they have defined about the management first we'll go with the henry foil uh, what the henry foil is said about what is the view of the henry foil we'll see okay uh, this henry foil uh, he is a henry foil uh, about him is he has uh, given 14 principles of uh, management that to a modern management he has given about the 14 principles he was uh, born on 29th july uh, 1841 and 19th November uh, up to uh, this year he has then he was a, a French mining engineer he was a French mining engineer in that particular field only he has uh, observed and he has uh, um, defined the management so he have the real life experience in the very toughest uh, job that is a mining executive okay so uh, what is uh, here the author and director of mines who developed a general theory of business administration that is often called foilism henry foil or the definition and the principle we can say that as a foilism that much interested in that uh, management um, Maximum he has supported the human resource, how they are working hard and uh, what are the problems they are facing in the field. That is the major thing he has identified. So he has proved in a scientifically also, not in the namesake he proved about the uh, human resource. He has proved the scientifically he has proved about this uh, uh, management theory. Okay. So he and his colleagues developed his theory independently of scientific management. But uh, we'll see what he has defined. Okay, here this is the definition of uh, Henry Foyle. To manage is to forecast, to plan, to organize, to com to command, and to coordinate and to control. Uh, here we can see um, F P O. 3C we can say F P O F P O and 3 C's we can say what he in his view what does management means to manage the organization to manage the organization in what view you should manage the organization means first of all we should have a forecast 
what is going how to plan and uh, what to do in the management okay so that is the forecast and the next is to plan first uh, managerial function is to plan how to run the business the next is to organize how to organize the uh, how to organize the entire uh, institution so then whatever uh, works how to organize and to command command in the sense uh, after uh, after organizing as a leader they should give a command over the work how how the things is going and how to work and everything so to command and the next is to coordinate uh, each and every employee employee should work and not only employee employees also should coordinate to achieve the object of the uh, company and then is to control it should be controlled by one superior uh, so one superior will monitor and they will control the entire thing that is the uh, management so he has defined that to manage is to forecast to plan to organize to command and to coordinate and to control this is by henry foyle next i could say that uh, this next one uh, uh, super personality is uh, this person okay i have a, i have tell about uh, this um, person peter f drucker peter f drucker um, he is one of the uh, uh, what uh, he has uh, uh, defined and also he is a uh, uh father of uh, i mean uh, he is a father of uh, management we can say okay so he has proved scientifically about uh, the uh, things here management is a multi purpose organ that manages a business and manages manager and manages worker and work so the, uh, he has said that three concept three concept he has said one is uh, what the manager is going to manage in the organization what the manager is going to manage in an organization one is he is going to manage a business business and he is going to manage a manager and he is going to manage a worker and work so that is called as a management so management is a multi purpose organ that manages a business and manages manager and manages worker and work here are the drucker stress three jobs of management drucker stress three jobs of management one is managing a business another is managing manager and the next is managing workers and work so this is, these are the definitions of management i hope you have understand children please subscribe my channel and also uh, support my channel this is by henry foyle and peter f drucker please go through this definition thanks a lot